welcome everyone guess what today is day 30 yay i made it i made it i made it i made it yes today is the final day of the 30 day challenge we made it yes we did yeah so now I can start including my other babies into my videos I can do changing videos with the others yes the whole point of this challenge was to choose one baby and do exclusive videos with just that one baby wasn't hard for me to choose which baby I wanted to do because this one is my newest one and I thought this would be a good way for me to bond with her and uh, And also, by doing my videos, I have learned that it has given me, it has helped me with my confidence in speaking, um, being able to get my thoughts across and what I want to say across more confidently and it has helped when I have um, interviews for possible uh, promotions and I have gotten positive feedbacks with regards to those interviews even though I did not receive get those promotions but I still um, got a lot of positive feedback as far as how well I did during the interview. Um, they can tell I'm more confident. I'm um, answering the questions more fully. And if there's a question about a certain duty or... Um, some type of um, yeah duty that I've never performed before um, I've been able to answer the question and give an example of if I had done that duty what how I would approach that duty how I would handle that situation with the knowledge that I already have so um, by doing these videos has helped me a lot so and by doing this challenge has helped a lot in that and it's given me the opportunity to get more videos out there, um, more content, um, so um, thank you for hanging in there with me, bearing with me, um, I know they haven't been 30 consecutive days but um, as you all know well life gets in the way things happen um, I have a full-time job so um, the only time that I can record are in the evenings or on the weekends so it's kind of hard 
to uh, do videos when I'm not home all day and then sometimes even when I am home um, I get busy doing life things and um, so it's just it's been hard <laughs> but um, I want to thank every every each and every one of you for hanging in there with me thank you for all of your comments I do read them and um, if you're new to my channel welcome and uh, please do subscribe hit the notification bell and um, so that way you're notified each and every time I upload a new video and um, and stuff so um, but yeah I am my channel is growing which I'm happy about that I am making um, lots of new um, friends and um, that makes me feel good when um, you ladies and there's a few gentlemen out there when you refer to me as sis um, that makes me feel real real good because um, if you've been uh, following me for a while you kind of already know kind of some of the situation that's going on at work um, I had a couple of uh, had a co-worker that I thought was a friend but after I had my surgery to correct my deviated septum and to also um, tighten up my and remove my basically remove my uvula and a few other things after I recovered from that surgery and went back to work there was a lot of changes um, this person has distanced themselves from me except for um, work related topics questions and the other co-worker has also stopped speaking to me um, she only well now she doesn't speak to me at all but before unless it had to do with work she would not speak to me um, now that she's no longer in the same department she doesn't even give me the time of day um, I feel that sometimes from either one of them that if uh, looks could kill I would have been dead a million times um, but I take it with a as a with a grain of salt um it used to bother me but not anymore I go oh well no sweat off my back um they're the ones that pulled away I didn't distance myself from them if I'm an easy person to get along with if you want to get along with me I um, have no problems being someone's friend if they want to be friends with me 
I I think that's kind of to a fault with me because I I'm easy going I how can I put it I was one and I still kind of am but I've kind of uh, gotten away from that I'm I like to anything if possible try to fix things um, I want everybody to be happy and if there's a way that I can facilitate that I want to I want to do that I want to I think I think I was a um, a pleaser I want to please everybody and you can't please everybody all the time and um, when like I said when I went back to work after my surgery my eyes got opened up wide and I found out some stuff and really noticing a lot of stuff and I have distanced myself a great deal from drama because um, I realized that that's what was bringing me down was being involved with the drama with all of the the negative talk and gossiping and stuff like that so I've pulled away from all of that and I think that's why these two individuals has pulled away from me is because I'm not participating in their little games um, so I feel much better about myself other people have noticed that I'm a lot calmer um, I'm not as anxious nervous about stuff uh, really I haven't had really any issues with my anxiety because of it uh, so, so, uh, but yeah, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what's been, been kind of going on and, uh, just trying to do me and, uh, just take care of me and, uh, so, but yeah, we're going to change Miss Abigail. I named her Abigail Grace. And for you that are new to my channel, she is by Roxanne of Crescent Moon Nurseries. And she is the Emma Sculpt. And this one is number 7 out of 20. And she is, as you can see, she is a full body silicone come on sweetheart give me your hand there we go the only thing that she does not have is well there's two things that she does not have um she does not have armatures and she does not have a drinking wet but she does have an open mouth, so she does take a pacifier. She's a preemie size. She weighs 
I believe she said eight pounds. Not eight pounds. I'm sorry. Five pounds. And she is 18 inches long. And, um... I think I'm going to leave her socks on her for right now. And I am going to put her back into this mayoral outfit. So we can take her out and show it to Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. But like I was saying, she does have an open mouth so she can take a pacifier. It's better that it's a, for a preemie or or one that's a really small nipple. I'm going to flip her over onto her belly so I can snap, snap her top up because it snaps all the way down. I love the feel of her silicone. Her silicone oh, is so soft and squishy and she is so poseable. She's more poseable than my um, my Nicholas. And uh, yeah, that putting her, having her on her on her belly. But yeah, I can turn her head, I can position her legs, and see, I can have them where they're kind of tucked up underneath her. There she is. <laughs> okay, sweet girl. Let's go ahead and turn you back over. And sometimes and stuff when I'm doing this and rotating her and just naturally she'll just kind of flop into a position and I love it. But as you can see how squishy her legs are and um How squishy her tummy is. But, um, as I think I mentioned in my video last night, um, I was able to choose what color hair and whether I wanted it straight, wavy, curly, barely wavy, um, I was able to decide on whether or not I wanted her to have pierced ears or, or not. And, um, and, um, Roxanne, when she got in, because she ordered her, her hair, and it's, it's mohair, and when she got the hair, she wasn't quite sure about the color because it it just didn't look right to her so she sent me a picture of the of the hair 
And then she also sent a picture of another color of hair that she already had. And, um, and then I was able to decide if I wanted to stick with the original hair that I had ordered or if I wanted to go with the other color. Well, after comparing the two, looking at the two and then um, getting some feedback from um, my husband and my daughter-in-law, I decided to go ahead and stick with the original color that I had chosen and I think I made the right decision and I chose the slightly wavy hair as you can see it's just barely wavy just enough so that way if I want to kind of mess with it and kind of curl it or or what um I can um I've tried instead of having her bangs and stuff kind of brushed off to the side and and um up so we can have you sitting up there we go. um I got to looking and I noticed this up that I actually prefer her with the bangs with full bangs I think she looks better with full bangs and um stuff so um there we go lean forward so mommy can get it back around you to the other side and then we'll get, get your arm in the other sleeve yeah and um the other color would have uh, looked pretty on her but I decided to go ahead and stick with with the original color I had chosen and I'm happy with it and then once she was done rooting her hair and she sent me pictures progress pictures along the way and um she stayed in, in contact with me, letting me know um, the progress, and and she also advised me if there was going to be any if there was any delays um, with um, her being able to uh, work on her, and she always kept me posted as far as okay anything I wasn't feeling good so I didn't do anything didn't work on any babies or anything um, and here's the new updated um, expected date and um, and then once she was done and she um, she did a photo shoot of her before she boxed her up and uh, let me see which one do we want I think, yeah I think we'll stick with this one because I've got a bow right there so let's do a bow in the head 
on the head. And um, so she did a, a photo shoot and so once Miss Abigail arrived and then when she shipped her she sent me the tracking number so that way I could track and that way I knew when she would be arriving and um, so I was able to be prepared but um, but yeah and uh, she sent me um, her COA this is her COA and I like the way she she did it and like I said she's the Emma Sculpt limited edition and this is number 7 out of 20 so and she Crescent Moon Nursery is the name of the nursery and there's the artist's name Roxanne Mueller I hope I'm saying that correctly um, she has a, a Facebook and um, a website and I believe she also has an Etsy store so um, And she also, and I know I, I showed in, in uh, yesterday's video, but she also sends home with all of her babies this pacifier that has her nursery uh, logo on it. All of her babies, that is one thing that you definitely know will be in the package is a certificate like that and a pacifier that that is a given and um, she also included um, which I was not aware of but she also included some cute little um, kind of holographic um, stickers as well and she has one that has my name on it she sent me several um, cards and she also sent me a card that has um, the um, web address on how to get the instructions the care instructions she also included a hospital band I have not filled that in and then she sent me some stickers She also sent one that that says Abigail Grace and then she sent me some that has the this one has the crescent moon with a heart and then another one with the, the crescent moon the heart and then some stars and then one that has a circle that has her logo in the middle of it and then once I notified her to let her know that I received her and that she arrived safe and sound 
then she emailed me the pictures that she took of her the photo shoot she sent those to me electronically so I have those printed out I have a binder that I have those those in and so, so so yeah she is a fantastic person she uses what is called notion it's a website where she that's where she will post it's like a tracker and that's where you can track the progress from start all the way down to the finish from if she's making one brand spanking new from pouring of the silicone all the way through to shipping the baby it's all there and she will once she finishes one part boom it'll reflect that part done if she's 50% done on one process it'll sh reflect that if she's 60% or 75% or that part is completed and she always keeps you that's how she communicates with you is via that that way if you have any questions you message her on that that's how you communicate with regards to your doll your baby and um and she she's real good about responding back and uh, so 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 um if you're in search of a full body silicone baby i believe she doesn't have any right now um, but I do believe that she is going to be, I don't know when, for sure, but, um, this next year she will be coming out with a new one. She hasn't quite decided yet as far as, um, whether it's going to be a boy or a girl and if it's going to have the bells and whistles with it or or if it's going to be a partial or a full body she hasn't quite decided yet but she did say that she will be coming out with a new one um, this next year um, so um, yeah she is one of those that starts from the very very beginning sculpting the, the doll to creating the mold to pouring the silicone all the way through the whole process she does the whole shebang she is i would say she she does the same process like claire taylor but her babies aren't as expensive as Claire's but as far as sculpting making the mold pouring the silicone and and doing the whole thing that's what Roxanne does um, and her work is amazing um, the picture I saw online She was, she was pretty much done, except for the finishing touches, um, which included um, hair. Um, if I wanted um, her to have pierced ears or not, and I'm not sure what else she had to do to her um, to finish her up. Um, but she was pretty much done when I saw her picture. So she was bald when I first saw her. Um, 
I fell in love with her. Uh, it was just her sweet face. Her sweet, sweet little face. Um, she just anything tugged at my heart chain. <laughs> I guess you could say. But, uh, but yeah. Um, so, um, so I got her. And, uh, I've been happy. And, um, even though it's, it's hard, but at the same time, it's been kind of fun hunting and searching for preemie clothes that are kind of cute and kind of fashionable. And, uh, stuff, so, um. So yeah, okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, it's been fun doing this challenge, and I'm glad I made it, and I believe, the last I look, I believe I was at 143 subscribers, I might have more, so don't hold me to that number. But I believe the last time I, I checked, I was at 143. It might be more than that. Um, but, yeah. Um, I might have some, some surprises in the future. Who knows? But for now, I'm happy with, with, that, with what I have. And, um... Maybe Sunday I might do a new um, tour video of the nursery because I am going to be kind of moving things around in here to try to, <clears throat> excuse me, try to make things a little more conducive to not only the flow in this room, but also more conducive to filming. So, um, so yeah. Um, because I'm trying to get it to where I'm not casting, um, any shadows, um, over her and stuff. So, um, so we'll see. We will see how, how it goes and uh stuff so we will see you guys in the next video thank you for joining us today for the final day of the challenge and hopefully within the next week or two i will be sharing good news good good news so um because they said that um hopefully here within the next week or two um hopefully they'll have um a selection made they want to have someone selected before the end of the month so hopefully here real quick they'll have someone selected so um so don't forget if you haven't already please subscribe click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and god bless stay safe share the love we love you guys bye bye aunties uncles cousins we love you Mwah. bye bye everyone